This is a family favourite lasagna and I've called it my five day lasagna because I'm putting in everything that I have in the fridge. You can make many combinations but this is a really nice one using aubergine, courgette and mozzarella. So let me show you how I'm going to prep the vegetables first. Okay, so peppers are going to be for the sauce. We're going to roast that separately. Courgettes are going to be griddled and the aubergines are going to be griddled. So let's cut these lengthways with lasagna. Top and tail them and then stand it up and make lengthways. Slice this like that. Courgette. Just halve your peppers and roast in the same tray that you're going to eventually put these lasagna in so let's waste. So you've got aubergine lengthways, courgette lengthways and your red pepper to roast. So here are your cut veggies, I've just drizzled that with olive oil and you can just put on a frying pan or a griddle like this. Just place them and start to So now we're gonna make the tomato sauce. You go in first uh, with some olive oil or any oil will be fine. And then I've got some crushed garlic and some chopped onions. Oops. So with the onions, you go in first. And then you just want to sweat them down for a little bit before you add the garlic. So just also the onions a bit. You don't want any colour on it. You just want them to be softened. Once you've cooked them for about five, six minutes, you're going to add the garlic and also some chili flakes. That looks softened enough. And I'm going to go in with the bulb of crushed garlic. Just that mix. And also a little bit of chili flakes according to your taste. I'm not going to put in too much because the children are going to be eating this as well. But it's nice for flavour rather than just putting a little bit in there. I'm going to turn the heat down and now add the tomatoes. I'm going in with two long tomato things. tomatoes, the peppers that we roasted earlier that look beautiful. We've just removed the stems and I'm going to add this to the sauce as well. So a nice red pepper sauce. So ready, you've got two of your veg in there. Going in with some basil leaves. flavour and put the heat up add in your peppers so once your sauce is reduced that's been cooking for about eight to ten minutes I'm going to turn the heat off go in with a stick blender and peppers and get a nice smooth sauce. So now just putting it all together, get yourself a baking tray, this is the same one that I just cooked the peppers in. Start with a layer of sauce first, that's just that so the pasta sheets don't stick to the bottom of the tray. So you go in first with sauce and then I'm going to go in with some spinach and then start my layering with the pasta sheets. There's no need to pre-cook these pasta sheets. You've got enough moisture in things like the sauce, the spinach, the vegetables, that will all help to cook the um, pasta sheets. So I don't really see the point in pre-cooking it. I've never done that and it's always been fine. So we're gonna put the pasta sheets in like that and then I'm gonna go in again with sauce and layer it up. 
I'm just seasoning some of the um, vegetable layers because I like quite to be heavy on seasoning, so just some salt and pepper. And then again, with the mozzarella again. But in fact, we've got quite a packed lasagna at the moment, but the hides and pieces of the raw spinach that's gone in, which will wilt and it will go down, so don't worry too much about that. We're on our last layer now, and so we've got the tomato sauce, the um, aubergine, let's just put a tiny bit more spinach if we can fit it in, and then we'll go in with the last crunchy layer of uh, cheese. So put your final lasagna sheets on top like that. about 40 minutes and the way to check if it's cooked all the way through is just get a knife and just pierce it through if it goes through easily then all of your sheets are done I like to cook it at about 180 so it cooks all the way through and then you know ramp up the um, temperature of the, for the last 10 minutes so you get a really nice golden crust so let's get that in after 40 45 minutes in the oven it should be done and um, I'm just gonna fetch my lasagna and the trick is to let it rest for a while, don't carve it straight away. So, there we go. Oh my god, that weighs a lot. See what I mean? It's completely shrunk into the um, baking tray now. So I'm going to let that rest and cut it in about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I will serve it with a salad as well. So I hope you enjoy making this. You don't have to be strict about what's in there, that's just what I've used if I had butternut squash or if I had anything else in the fridge, I would have put that in there too. But um, with what I had with the grilled vegetables, I think you're getting your five a day in one meal. <laughs> 